House lawmakers have passed a bill that would allow immigrants living in Massachusetts to have access to driver's licenses. And 22 News reporter Jody Reed has been following this bill, and she has the details now on the changes that could be coming our way. This issue has been a topic of conversation here on Beacon Hill for years now. But thanks to a vote that House lawmakers took on Wednesday, the bill is finally moving forward. In a 120 to 36 vote, state representatives approved the Work and Family Mobility Act. The bill would allow undocumented immigrants living in Massachusetts to take their driving test and obtain a standard driver's license. Members of the immigrant community say this bill would help hundreds of families not just get to work or run errands, but also help them in a medical emergency. Most of the immigrant community, they don't feel secure calling the police officer because um, they sometimes think that they might be arrested. This bill has dozens of supporters in the state legislature, including Representative Tricia Farley Bouvier, who testified on the House floor in favor of its passage. People driving without a license, therefore not having insurance, is bad for all of us. Um, and so we're pleased to take this step forward to make the road safer for everybody. There are numerous opponents of the bill, including Jeff Deal, who is running for governor as a Republican. Deal said he supports legal immigration into the U.S. and believes a driver's license should incentivize immigrants to become U.S. citizens. Another opponent of the bill is Governor Baker. In fact, Baker told me on Monday that he supports the current statute in place. House lawmakers say they are ready to override his veto if that's the route he chooses to take. Working for you at the State House in Boston, Jody Reed, 22 News.